Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene and we are going to, re to review the really inexpensive Bic Crystal Extra Bowl ballpoint pens. Oh, here we are, my friends. We have eight assorted ink colors. Y'all know that I gotta see my colors, y'all. Like, colors just make you so happy <laughs> but anyway i step outside my comfort zone because i noticed something about myself yes i prefer smaller points because my handwriting is so much more neater but also i notice when i actually naturally write the size that i probably would normally write instead of trying to force something that doesn't look too bad either. However, it is best with a larger point. So, we're going to see. First of all, disclaimer, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I am indecisive. One day, I like boldness. The other days, I like faintness. But we're going to see just how bold these beauties are. It says the world's number one ball pen. Now, I'm not going to lie. These pens are good. They write nice and smooth. Um, the only thing is, I wish the smoothness of the writing would match the feel or comfort. Because these aren't the most comfortable pens. I will say that. But they do write good. Um, and when I say that, because I never had this, these before. But the standard black ones that you'll see, they write good. So... Right with vividness and flair. Um, you have the trans translucent barrel for visible ink 1.6 mm mm -mm -mm. for extra bold writing. Writes first time every time. Oh boy. And these are only two books, which really got me like, all right, let's just see how this goes. And we're gonna see. Look at those colors. So you got purple, red, teal, black, lime green, pink, light blue, or baby blue, and then we have the regular blue. And y'all know what color we always say is problematic? Purple and blue. But we're gonna see. We are going to see. So let's find an empty page because I've been writing up something with these videos. Come on. I'm on. <laughs> and of course, we're not going to skip pages because, yeah. All right. Let's see how fast we can move because my phone want to be, my phone ain't been charged all day, y'all. Let's start with blue. All right. And y'all let me know in the comment section, am I tripping or is it just me? Um, A long time ago, my greens used to be problematic, like the green pens, the green highlighters. They used to be inky or not working correctly. I'm trying to get... Okay, there you go. All right. Let's write. And it says write the first time, every time. And I think if I remember correctly using these, they definitely do. So I'm just going to write what they are. This is the Bic um, Crystal. And that's based on my handwriting. I'm trying to write as neat as I can, y'all. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, Crystal Bic. And I'm just going to write what it is. And that is smooth. That is smooth, my friend. And this is my normal everyday handwriting. And I say I'm trying my best to embrace it. Some days I'm better than others. Now, I would say this uh, protective barrier needs to be a little more smoother coming off. It kind of... Mmm. This one's writing kind of crunchy. Maybe because it's still got something up there. I don't know. Blue. Light. Sorry, that is backwards, but... We're gonna get through this. And I feel like I can come in a little bit more. Yeah. All right, so I keep wanting to write with it and I keep forgetting the burial. 
Uh oh, already with this one, the little barrier is the same color as the pen. And that usually means we have a leaky or one that was already trying to write in a pack. It writes smooth though. Yeah, this one writes smooth. And we're gonna do pink. That's not bad. And what I'm looking for is not to have those, those bulks of ink that get on the page and smear because that's exactly what happened with my Pentel, the 1.0. And I'm like, oh, come on, Pentel. I would say either the little sticky stuff has to be worn off or they are not writing the first time initially. They may write the first time after that, but as y'all can see, initially the bees are struggling. And it seems like the lighter the color, the worse off it is. I'm trying to move a little faster here. This black looked like it was leaking too. Yeah, this was ready to go. <laughs> Crystal. Black. Yeah, that's smooth, baby. That is smooth. Let's go with the next one. And obviously, I love stationery. I'm going to try not to go overboard, but um, I do want to try out everything I get in front of you guys. But um, let me know if you prefer me to talk or no talking and music. No talking, music, and words on the screen. Or what is it? Captionings. Uh, that one's a little rough, but I think I still got, yep. I still got some pieces up here. So, writing-wise, it's okay. But that little ink thingy is making the job so much more harder. And this red one, like, is going to ink out, too. Let's see. Yeah. Some of these were ready to go. Like they were already kind of leaking a little bit or something. Um, so that has you want to be cautious of how you store them. I know a lot of people say you're supposed to store pens uh, right side. I mean, the point up. That I don't know. I have no clue at all. I probably should research it. Oh, come on, purple. There you go. That's purple. Purple was all right with me. So, out of this pack, I would say the most problematic was the green. The green was a tough cookie. And then if I had to go with a second place one, um, it would be the light blue that's kind of hard and crunchy to write. But again, it could be the protective uh, ball that's on it when you first purchase them. That could be the case. But we'll see when time goes on. Um, not sure how much battery life I got left. Otherwise, I would show you all the colors in the Bible. Um, but for right now, I don't know. Assign something to write. Uh, let me see here. But no, all have turned away. All have become corrupt. No one does good. Not a single one. All right, let's get... Let's try this green. Oh, this teal, actually. It's teal, not green. Um, I'm just going to write... No one is... Perfect. And I know I'm out of focus because the camera got zoomed, but that's the teal color. And it's nice and bold. It is. I, I will give it that. It is bold. I can see it. You guys should be able to see it and read it. I'm okay with that. I'm writing no one is perfect. And then let me see if I write something else. Um right up here. Let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see initially 
Jesus is the perfect example. So, you guys should better see that. That's nice and bold. Honestly, that made me feel a whole lot better. And what I mean is because, like I said, the smaller writing is intimidating because like, oh, you got all this to fill up. But that made me feel better, writing with a larger point. So it's like, sometimes your preference can be your own worst enemy. But there you go. That's my review, y'all. So far, I am loving them and I'm glad I got them. And they were only two bucks for eight colors. And I got them from Dollar General or Family Dollar, but I have seen them at Walmart. So, and I want to say the same price or maybe just 50 cent more. So, really good price. If you like bold, you like big, you definitely want to try these bigs. Comment below if you ever tried them. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.